Our next speaker is the Divisional Chief Executive Officer, uh, Transaction Processing and Enablement Business at Interswitch. Okay, so I can get the, I can feel the excitement from our online community. Thank you so much for sharing that excitement with me. I'll just proceed. Thank you so much. Um, he serves as Divisional Chief uh, Executive Officer of Switching and Processing at Interswitch Limited. He is a pioneer management team member of Interswitch and currently leads the switching and processing division of Interswitch. Oh, it feels like. Okay, I beg your pardon. His current passion is to replicate the success of the switching and processing business in our primary market um, across Africa. He previously served as group head of service delivery, service delivery at Interswitch Limited. Now, prior to joining Interswitch, uh, another interesting fact here, um, he worked in the petroleum and ICT industry. He graduated with first class honors in electrical and electronic engineering from the University of Benin, Nigeria. He also holds an MBA from the Lagos Business School at the Pan Atlantic University. He is adept at sporting business opportunities and executing with minimal time to market. His deep insight into the opportunities in Africa and his knowledge of the payments business helps him to gain the confidence of our customers and the respect of his peers. Ladies and gentlemen, with a round of applause, join me to make welcome virtually Mr. Akim Lawa. Let's put our hands together for Mr. Akim. Mr. Akim, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just confirm if you can hear me clearly. Okay, Mr. Akim, it appears that you're on mute. Um, please confirm if you can hear me clearly. Um, just okay, to great. Clear. Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. And lest I forget, uh, Mr. Akim Lawa is going to be speaking on mainstream payments and blockchain impact in Africa. Mr. Akim, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you. Um, and then I think it's good morning or good afternoon to you all, uh, wherever you are joining from, um, from across the world. Um, I am extremely, extremely excited to be here. Um, I am particularly happy um, that the Bantu project has eventually come to life. Um, as um, Abu had talked about earlier, um, I think this is a journey that has been a long time, um, has been a long time coming. Um, and I would like to start um, from one of the comments that was made earlier, um, which really is around the, the team um, that has put this together. Um, I met um, Victor, Ernest and Eric, um, I think it's just over a year ago now. Um, and the first thing that impacted me really was they shared one of my deepest uh, passions um, and convictions. Um, and that passion and conviction is that as Africans, we have the potential to be a lot more than what the world sees us as, right? We have showed this um, in many areas, but we still get, um, uh, we don't get the credit that we deserve, um, I believe. Um, we still get, um, um, portrayed in a manner that probably does not reflect our capacity as a continent. Um, I believe in Africa. Um, I believe in Nigeria. I believe in what we can achieve um, once we come together and do um, um, and collaborate um, in terms of trying to solve our problems, right? Um, and the team um, that has put together Bantu um, has a similar shared belief. Um, I do believe that there is a revolution coming. Um, I believe that revolution has started. Um, and whether you believe it or not, over the next year or so, we will see the impact um, that blockchain will have um, on this continent. Um, I understand that as we look into the future, a lot of people will ask, what, what is going to happen? What, what is the need? What, what, is, um, what is it that is likely to change? Um, I'm only going to focus on what's going to happen in payments because that's an area that uh, myself as Interswitch um, 
myself as, as an individual and Intus Rich as a company have been focused on for the last 17 years, trying to build a payment system that connects everyone in Africa, that enables commerce and trade and transactions to happen, that promotes prosperity because people are basically able to transact with one another. One of the saddest um, pieces of statistics that I have is that if you look at trade um, in Africa, um, trade between African countries versus trade that happens um, across between um, African countries and the rest of the world, um, it is a ratio of 10 to one, right? Um, so out of every 11 trades that happen, 10 of it happens with um, countries outside of the continent. Um, and I think it's, a, it's, a, it's an unfortunate situation that probably escalates some of the issues that have been raised around why we're not able to transition away um, from the poverty that currently grips the continent. One of the ways that we as InterSwitch and me personally as Akim have tried to address this problem is to attempt to solve the challenge of making payments across the continent, right? Today, if you want to make a payment for a goods or a service um, from Nigeria to Ghana um, or from Ghana to Kenya, um, it is inevitable that at some point you will have to use a foreign third party currency um, to facilitate that trade. Um, that creates friction, that creates costs, um, that creates a transfer of value um, where a significant part of the value for that trade is um, domiciled or removed from the continent. I am convinced um, that as we move towards an era um, of blockchain um, and some of the technologies that will come from the innovation of people using the bank to blockchain network, we will see an elimination of some of that friction. We will see an elimination of some of the um, costs um, we will see as those transactions become easier to do an increase in the amount of trade that happens between African countries um, and the ability to then retain the wealth um, that the continent creates within the continent because we are able to trade with one another. Um, and this is not going to happen um, because some um, foreign magnanimous entity came to help us solve our problems. It's gonna happen because we, as Africans, have the human resources um, to solve these problems ourselves. And one of the things that excites me the most um, about the Bantu um, Blockchain Foundation and the model that has been um, designed is that it will enable and empower millions of Africans young entrepreneurial, brilliant Africans to come out and use this platform to build solutions to the myriads of problems that are facing us, right? They will create solutions that many of us have not even begun to think about. And by so doing, they will create value and wealth for themselves. And that value and wealth will re remain on our continent. Right? I am particularly excited um, because of the model um, that Bantu has, has used, um, creating a not-for-profit foundation um, to run this, uh, creating an open platform that allows anyone to come in and build their own products and solution upon it, um, creating an open platform that can integrate, integrate and interact with some of the work that InterSwitch is doing that hopefully um, by the time you combine uh, the Pan-African payments ecosystem work that we're doing, um, with the Bantu blockchain and the Bantu pay apps um, that um, the team has already built, we can create an ecosystem that makes it easy for any African to do business with every other African, to do transactions seamlessly at a very fraction of the cost that you can do it today, um, and to transfer value um, from any corner of Africa to another corner of Africa. Um, creating the commercial interaction that allows us to create and expand the wealth um, that we're building on this continent. Um, I would like to um, round up uh, by basically saying um, congratulations 
um, to the to the um, advisory uh, members of the Bantu Blockchain uh, Foundation. Um, I think you guys have done a brilliant work in helping and supporting the team um, to get this far. Um, I would like to congratulate the, um, the Bantu team um, for the amazing work that you guys have done to bring this to fruition. Um, I would like to congratulate all of us who are members of this community um, and just basically encourage all of us to continue to support um, the work that we're doing um, to basically create a future that is so much better than where we are today. Thank you everyone. And it was a pleasure um, being able to join remotely.